Soka practice, a brief Dharma offering to the Dharma protectors on page one. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. <laughs> May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. as the Yidam deity, from the seed syllable at my heart emanate Ram, Yam, and come. Fire, wind, and water burn, scatter, and wash away the faults and defects of the Torma. Above wind and fire is a hearth of skulls. Above that is vast and spacious skull, filled with the five meats and five nectars. The five meats are marked with Om, Hum, Tram, Hri, and Ah, and the five nectars with Mum, Lum, Bum, Pum, and Thum. A wind of hong emerges from the nostrils, blowing, stirring, and lighting the fire, which melts and boils the substances. The defects bubble over, and the pure essence fills the skull to the brim. Above a moon disc lid, hum, ah, and om are stacked, one above the other. Lights radiate from these and gather nectar, which merges with the syllables. The three syllables and moon disc melt into light and dissolve into the nectar. Thus it transforms into an ocean of wisdom nectar. Nurla so joy yabdada, 
Light radiates from the seed syllables at my heart, inviting the Lama, Yidam, and Dakinis, the protectors and guardians of the Dharma, wealth gods, guardians of the directions, local spirits, obstructing spirits, karmic creditors, and the six classes of beings, who then gather before me like billowing clouds. According to their ranking order, these guests partake of the torma with light tubes emerging from their vajra tongues, and thus are pleased and satisfied.
bottom of 12. Ho, please consider me. Ho, please consider me. Ho, please consider me. Glorious Vajra Guardian, Great Black One, and Hiruka, Glorious Great Bhairava, by nature you are one with Dharmata. In essence, you are the same within primordial wisdom, and in character you are equal in unhindered activity. Hero who defeats all unfavorable circumstances, you are the foremost lord of all appearance and existence, and all gods and demons, wrathful local guardian, great leader of activity oppressors, invincible sovereign of radiant splendor, you protect awareness holding yogins as if they were your own children, and you assess the absorption of oath-bound practitioners. You are endowed with a radiance of peace, the splendor of increasing and the power of magnetizing activity. You are swift in activities of liberating savage foes and hindrances. Your mighty skill in protecting the teachings is sublime. Powerful Lord with the name, the one endowed with mighty Vajra wrath, great warrior, god of yogins, please heed me. Please dwell in this holy shrine of enlightened body, speech, and mind of myself, the yogin called Vajra Heruka. Please act to conquer the dread of the four Maras and all obstacles along my path of supreme bliss whereby I will accomplish unsurpassed awakening. Please cause me to encounter the Samadhi companion that will guide me on the authentic path. Until I attain awakening, help me to never deviate onto mistaken paths with body, speech, and mind, and cause my mind to turn toward freedom and awakening. May all unfavorable circumstances in this world be vanquished, May perfect auspiciousness and goodness pervade and increase. May gods, spirits, and humans be brought under control, and at all times and in every circumstance, may enlightened activities be accomplished according to my supplications. As you are the glory and protector of all wandering beings, please perform activities to grant supreme and common cities without obstruction and effortlessly. May I vanquish all unfavorable circumstances, the enemies and hindrances with wrong views and the like, and may perfect auspiciousness and goodness pervade and prevail. Ma Hri, by the power of your compassion and previous aspirations, Mother Achichoki Droma, arise from the Dharma sphere and look upon me from the space of primordial wisdom. Miraculously descend upon this activity mandala. Mother Achi, Lady of Nanam, Powerful Dharma Tara, Wisdom Tara, Samaya Tara, Magnetizing Goddess, Flesh Eating Karma Dakini, Noble Lady Tashi Seringma, Mio Lobsangma, Tekar Drosangma, Dingi Shalsangma, and Chopendring Sangma, Protectors of the Lineage Forefathers, Protectors of Frightful Hermitages, Protectors with Samaya who pledge to protect the teachings of the Kagyu Lineage. Your luminous wisdom never fades. Your compassion never withholds, your blessings are never far, and your power is unobstructed. All of you, bless us, yogins, in our retinues, through your enlightened body. Bless us through your enlightened speech. Bless us through your enlightened mind. Bless us through your enlightened qualities. Bless us through your enlightened activities. Act so as to conquer adverse circumstances and the dread of the four Maras. Please cause me to encounter the Samadhi Companion, that will guide me on the true path. Thus, until I attain awakening, help me to never deviate onto mistaken paths with body, speech, and mind, but cause my mind to turn toward freedom and awakening. May all unfavorable circumstances in this world be vanquished. May perfect auspiciousness and goodness pervade and increase. May gods, spirits, and humans be brought under control, and at all times, and in every circumstance, May enlightened activities be accomplished according to my supplications. As the glory and protector of all wandering beings, please perform activities to grant supreme and common cities without obstruction and effortlessly. May I vanquish all unfavorable circumstances, the enemies and hindrances with wrong views and the like, and may perfect auspiciousness and goodness pervade and prevail. Jaya, Jaya, City, City, Kala, Kala.
Page 15 in the Guru Rinpoche Sadhana. as the deity from my heart rum yum and come emerge and purify the feast substances white red and blue om ah and hung and ha ho and hri issue forth and transform the substances into nectar uh, um, uh, uh, uh.
Yidam and Dakinis, I make offerings of all that is desirable. I make outer, inner, and secret offerings. Please accept them with delight and bestow cities upon me. <laughs> Every enemy and obstructor who causes harm to the supreme accomplishment of us yogins drag them here. To the emanated gathering of the great ferocious ones, I offer the flesh, blood, and bones obtained through having liberated enemies with compassion. <laughs> Making wondrous offerings of desired sense objects, outer, inner, and secret, as well as union and liberation, revitalize my sacred bond with the Guru and the Three Roots. Uh, fourteen Roots. Do the disclosure of the fourteen fundamental mantric downfalls. The Vajra holders have taught that accomplishments follow after the Master. Because of that, to mistreat the Master is explained as the first fundamental downfall. To transgress the commands of those gone to bliss is said to be the second downfall. To be angry with Vajra siblings is the third point described as a fault. The conqueror taught that to abandon love for sentient ones is fourth. The root of Dharma is bodhicitta, to abandon it is fifth. To demean the teachings that are one's own or other's doctrines is sixth. 
to proclaim that which is secret to sentient beings who are wholly immature is seventh. The aggregate that is, is the very nature of the five Buddhas, to abuse it is eighth. To give rise to skepticism about naturally pure phenomena is ninth. Always treating evil ones affectionately is held as tenth. To conceptualize about phenomena that are free from name and form is eleventh. To elicit wariness in the minds of sentient ones who have faith is twelfth. As for the Samayas, not attending to how they are acquired is thirteenth. To engage in demeaning women who are the nature of transcendent awareness is fourteenth. When these are abandoned by mantras, accomplishments will surely be attained. I reveal and relinquish denigrated and broken Samayas of body, speech, and mind in their fundamental and auxiliary aspects, and every downfall arisen from faults, together with their mass de of defilements. Please bestow your blessing that they be cleansed and made pure. Om Bezar Sado Samaya Anabalaya Bezar Sado Dino Titanda Dome Barva Sada Kayom and Barva Sada Jayom and Barva Anara Dome Sawa Sidem Mepareens as our Kamas Adam as a Banjayan Koro Hong Ah Bang Sawa Danga Dom Bezam and Bezam Sado on Bezazado Zamaya, Mother Balaya, Bezazado Dana, the Tanda Dom and Barbas, the Gaya Membarbas, the Vedaya Membarba, another Dom Member, Savasadem and Barayaza, Sava, Karmasa Dom, the Danja Yankoro, Ha ha ha, Banga, Sava, Tanga Dom, Bezama Members of the Zaba. Tova un bezar sado samaya mana balaya bezar sado deno ba dana dano me barwa sada gayo me ba sube jayo me barwa anara do me barwa sava sada me barwa sada sava kama sada sanjeng kura hua hua banga me sava dada gada me zame bezar bawa ma samaya sado alala hu. Om Benzara Sado Samaya Mana Balaya Benzara Sado Deno Titanda Dome Bhava Sudhagayo Me Bhava Subhajayo Me Bhava Anara Dome Bhava Sava Siddhama Parayata Sava Karma Siddhama Sadaan Jayankaro 
The finest part is offered to the three roots, the feast to my Dharma siblings, and the remainders to the messengers. Suitable enjoyments are offered to those deserving of remainders. On 18, Hong, Lama, Yidam, and Dakinis, manifesting from the Dharma Datu, state, As I invoke your heart pledge, please perform activities, dispel obstacles, and bestow accomplishments. 
ಓಂ ಆಂ ಗುರುದೇವ ಸವಾಸದ protectors, you who have given your word in the presence of the Viryadhara lineage in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end, please accept this offering Torma and carry out enlightened deeds. Om Dharma Bala Sabara Vara Amar Dhambale Haya Om Sojim Bhava Kai Gube Ogan Jongwa Deme To ತರಿಕ್ ದರಸ ಬಾರವಾಯಿ ಕೆಲ of ten ma goddesses protectors of tibet who are bound by the command of the great blazing master please come here enjoy this fiery amrita and perform the four enlightened deeds oh, oh, ತಂಬಾ ರಕ್ಷಾಕರ ವಿ ಗೌ ಟು ಜಾಂಬಲ ಸಂಬನಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಚುನ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ಅ ರೈನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಅ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಫರಿಂಗ್ ರೇಂಬೋ ಬಾಡಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಫ್ 
blessed joy, land of perfect bliss, even the names for confused they don't exist. Padra Sattva grant blessings, mere like wisdom, city in glory and out land of perfect splendor, even names for confused pride don't exist ratna sambhava bhista equanimity wisdom in day watch and pure land of great happiness even names for confused desire are gone amitabha bless and Grant discerning wisdom, city, in fulfilled activity, land of perfect Buddha deeds. There's no words for jealousy. Yamoga city, bestow all accomplishing wisdom in the augment armosphere. Endowed with five perfections, ignorance does not exist. Viral Chana Grand Dharma, the to wisdom city, grand vital essences of the five great mothers and long life. In emanated Udyana, Togyal dwells with Dakinis, Grand bliss, emptiness, mastery. Fortune of profound mantra, Guru who's often on nowhere all in yet Yudams dwell. Grant awakening in one life, Fortune of Mahamudra in the sphere of self display. Valiadums of peace and wrath grant supreme and common power, city fulfilling all aims. In twenty four sacred sites, gather infant sky dancers, grand ripening liberation. Powers. Fortune of secret mantra in Dharma Kaya's expands twelve a lineage, lords and kin. Grant enlightened acts increase to stages mantra deity in all taming tokus fear. Well, Mahakana and for grand subjugating city, fortune of enlightened acts. O Kriyan Vaishravana's abode dwells the wealth gods Ambala, who acts kindly for all beings. Master of life, merit, wealth, food, and fortune with your Court, don't waver from your heart pledge. Think of us compassionately. Bring here all long life fortune. Bring here fortune of cattle. Fortune of swift horses and wealth of wish granting livestock. The fortune of fertile sheep. And of herd animals, fortune of goats and those best cattle, wealth of wish granting cows, bulls, meals to carry heavy loads, all this good fortune bring here, fortune of fine lovely silk. Highly priced gold and silver, fertile soil and the six grains, precious gems and ornaments, food and drink of every kind, bring them here as good fortune. 
Brahma's fortune from above. God's ghost spirit's wealth with Nagas wishing gem below. Three worlds, gods and humans' wealth. Bring them here as good fortune. Luhago's body fortune. Zambuling's holy dharma. Balang Cho's fortune at wealth. Dominion's longevity. Beings, life, strength, and merit. Of all lands, grant their fortune. Indian kings, religious my Chinese kings, all reaching force. Persian kings, fortune and wealthy army of kings are the courage of Ukarhor. As good fortune bring them here, fortune of the endless sky, fortune of the stable grounds, perfect wealth, food and clothing, radiant splendor, riches, strength, armor, weapons, miracle powers. Monks who uphold the scriptures, fortune of brave and strong boys, beautiful and virtuous girls. Your offspring, please, all of these, bring them here as good fortune, like sun and moon's eastern rise. Eastern long life fortune come like the swirling southern clouds. Southern long life fortune come like enshrouding mist. Western long life fortune please come here like a river flows northern. Long life fortune please come here like rain falling from above upper long life fortune come like six grains ripening below lower long life fortune come fortune of melodious praise Come like turquoise dragons roar, fortune of heart students line. Come like dazzling star garlands. Om Kri, Eastern Vajra Dakini, bring life's fortune passeth high, disease, demons, hindrances. Southern jewel Dakini, bring resources, food, and wealth, expand life, merit, riches. Western lotus Dakini, some empower to tame all things, some sought in nirvana. Northern action Dakini, bring the forest. Acts annihilate hindrance evil. Wealth gods with your retinue bring here all the world's fortune. Bring auspicious objects here. Bring fortunate objects here. Always remain at this place and make these fortunes steadfast. Potentize my substances and at this place protect well. Please remain firm, unchanging. Grant eternal life, city. Grant endless treasure, city. Grant wealth and merit, city. Grant to cities, let them be accomplished, Bonte.
three kayas, lama, deities of longevity, dakinis of Uriana, and assembly of wealth gods, please bestow the four empowerments upon me and other fortunate disciples. Being bestowed with the supreme form empowerment upon my body, may I attain the indestructible Vajra body. Being bestowed with the supreme speech empowerment upon my speech, may I attain the power of Brahma's sixty melodies. Being bestowed with the supreme mind empowerment upon my mind, may I attain power over the unborn simplicity. May I obtain the essence kaya empowerment, the ultimate empowerment that is the spontaneous presence of the three kayas. May I obtain the empowerment of the Guru's three kayas, which causes the three poisons to manifest as the three kayas. May I obtain the empowerment of the long-life deities of the five families, which causes the five poisons to manifest as the five aspects of primordial wisdom. May I obtain the empowerment of the Dakinis of Uriana, by which the body of deathless primordial wisdom is attained. May I obtain the empowerment of white Zambala Yabyum, which effortlessly and spontaneously accomplishes ordinary and sublime cities. May I obtain the empowerment of wealth gods and treasure lords, which perfects the abundance of food, wealth, and riches. May I obtain the empowerment of Maha Mudra, which liberates from samsara's pain. May I obtain the empowerment of self-knowing Dharmakaya, which is the primordial purity of the delusional perceptions of unawareness. May I obtain the empowerment of the great completion which is the primordial purity of all phenomena of samsara and nirvana. May I obtain the empowerment of great middle way, which naturally liberates the four extremes of eternalism and nihilism. May I obtain the empowerment of the perfection of wisdom, which is inexpressible being beyond words and thoughts. May I obtain the empowerment of total openness free from fixation, which naturally liberates dualistic propensities. May I obtain the empowerment of a mortal life, which is the unchanging expanse of awareness. May I obtain the empowerment of awakening within one lifetime, which is the endless accumulation of merit. The Guru who is the three Kayas, deities of longevity, Dakinis of Uriana, and assembly of wealth gods, my own body, speech, and mind, this life, all solid and substantial matter, all these dissolve like clouds dissolving in the sky or water pouring into water, without reference point, into the all pervasive open space of awe. <coughs> Within a state of non-distraction, <coughs> rest at ease. In the unborn basic space of phenomena, let go of everything. In a state of simplicity, remain free and open. Seal with steadfastness. Samaya, seal, seal. By this virtue of timelessness beyond the three times, may all beings be relieved from the suffering of poverty, hunger, and thirst, and may all wishes and enjoyments be fulfilled. At last may they swiftly attain the most excellent state of the Master Padma Sambhava and Amitabha in the Buddha field, great bliss, and reach the ground of no return. Dharma <coughs> Pala. Yes, we go back to the Soka Dharma Pala text, page 32, top. Oh, Om Benza Argam Pavent Ubed Alogan Gandan Ubed Oh, 
entered the gates of the supreme mantra path in order to purify stains of omissions additions and mistakes i beseech you divine assembly to please forbear all errors i am aware of and all those i do not recall one to twenty hung the illusory mandala deities divine appearances devoid of any true existence dissolve into the natural abode of dharma datu and thus i rest within a wondrous unleashed state of total ease
Ho, oh, may the auspicious blessings of the root and lineage lamas up until Samatabhadra prevail. May the auspiciousness of the peaceful and wrathful victorious Yidam deities, two cities, prevail. May the auspiciousness of the mothers, sisters, dakinis, and secondary dakinis, enlightened activities, prevail. May the auspiciousness of the dharmapalas and the oath-bound haughty ones, destruction of all enemies and hindrances, prevail. Okay. A word peace and Samedha Bada. We go to the World Peace Prayer on page 38 in our uh, blue prayer book. The three jewels and three roots, trustworthy sources of refuge, and in particular the Lord of Snow, Avalokiteshvara, Jetsun Para, and Guru Padma Sambhava, I supplicate you, please follow your previous pledges. Bestow blessings that this aspiration prayer may be fulfilled most perfectly. Due to the degeneration of times when thoughts and deeds of beings are perverted, and the inner and outer elements have lost their balance, Men and cattle are seized by epidemic disease previously unheard of. Intruding Rahus, Nagas, powerful demons and dark forces, blight, frost and hail, bad harvest, warfare and so forth, erratic rainfall, heat, misery and droughts in the world, destruction by the elements such as earthquakes and the threat of fire, and in particular barbaric offenses causing harm to the teachings are rampant. May all types of harm and injury around the world be swiftly pacified and overcome. May precious and supreme bodhicitta spontaneously arise in the mind streams of all beings, human and non-human, and may they be free from destructive thoughts and deeds. May all be endowed with a loving mind for one another, and may well-being, glory, and prosperity prevail throughout the world. May the Buddha's teachings spread far and wide and ever last. By the truthful power of the three roots, the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, by any root of virtue <coughs> existing in samsara and nirvana, and by the power of our perfectly pure, highest intention, may the fruition of our supplication and aspiration be as attained. And then to page 40. Ho, oh, everything, appearance, and existence, samsara and nirvana has a single ground, yet two paths and two fruitions, and magically displays as awareness or unawareness. Through Kuntazampo's prayer, may all beings become Buddhas, completely perfected in the abode of the Dharma Dhatu. The ground of all is uncompounded, and the self-arising great expanse beyond expression has neither the name samsara nor nirvana. Realizing just this, you are a Buddha. Not realizing this, you are a being wandering in samsara. I pray that all you beings of the three realms may realize the true meaning of the inexpressible ground. I, Kuntazampo, have realized the truth of this ground, free from cause and condition, which is just this self-arising awareness. It is unstained by outer expression and inner thought, affirmation or denial, and is not defiled by the darkness of unmindfulness. Thus the self-manifesting display is free from defects. I, Kuntazampo, abide in this intrinsic awareness. Even though the three realms were to be destroyed, there is no fear. There is no attachment to the five desirable qualities of sense objects. In self-arising consciousness, free of thoughts, there is neither solid form nor the five poisons. In the unceasing clarity of awareness, singular in essence, there yet arises the display of the five wisdoms. From the ripening of these five wisdoms, the five original Buddha families emerge, and through the expanse of their wisdom, the forty-two peaceful Buddhas appear. Through the arising power of the five wisdoms, the sixty wrathful Herukas manifest. Thus, the ground awareness is never mistaken or wrong. I, Kuntazampo, am the original Buddha of all, and through this prayer of mine may all you beings who wander in the three realms of samsara realize this self-arising awareness, and may your great wisdom spontaneously increase. My emanations will continuously manifest in billions of unimaginable ways, appearing in forms to help you beings who can be trained. Through my compassionate prayer, may all you beings who wander in the three realms of samsara escape from the six life forms. From the beginning, you beings are deluded, because you do not recognize the awareness of the ground. Being thus unmindful of what occurs is delusion, the very state of unawareness in the cause of going astray. From these delusive states come a sudden fading away. 
and then the subtle consciousness of wavering fear. From that wavering, there arises a separation of self and the perception of others as enemies. Gradually, the tendency of separation strengthens, and from this circle of samsara begins. Then the emotions of the five poisons develop. The actions of these emotions are endless. You beings lack awareness because you are unmindful, and this is the basis of you going astray. Through my prayer, may all you beings recognize your intrinsic awareness. Innate unawareness means unmindfulness and distraction. Imputing unawareness means dualistic thoughts towards self and others. Both kinds of unawareness are the both basis of a delusion of all beings. Through Kuntuzampo's prayer, may all you beings wandering in samsara clear away the dark fog of unmindfulness, clear away the clinging thoughts of duality. May you recognize your own intrinsic awareness. Dualistic thoughts create doubt. From subtle attachment to this dualistic turn of mind, dualistic tendencies become stronger and thicker. Food, wealth, clothes, home, and friends, the five objects of the senses and your beloved family, all these things cause torment by creating longing and desire. These are all worldly delusions. The activities of grasping and clinging are endless. When the fruition of attachment ripens, you are born as a hungry ghost, tormented by coveting and desiring, miserable, starving, and thirsty. Through Kuntuzampo's prayer, may all you desirous and lustful beings who have attachments neither reject longing desires nor accept attachment to desires. Let your consciousness relax in its own natural state. Then your awareness will be able to hold its own. May you achieve the wisdom of perfect discernment. When external objects appear, the subtle consciousness of fear will arise. From this fear, the habit of anger becomes stronger and stronger. Finally, hostility come causing violence and murder. When the fruition of this anger ripens, you will suffer in the hell by boiling and burning. Through Kuntuzampo's prayer, you beings of the six realms, when strong anger arises for you, neither reject it nor accept it. Instead, relax in the natural state and achieve the wisdom of clarity. When your mind becomes full of pride, there will arise thoughts of competition and humiliation. As this pride becomes stronger and stronger, you will experience the suffering of quarrels and abuse. When the fruition of this karma ripens, you will be born in the God realms and experience the suffering of change and falling to lower rebirths. Through Kuntuzampo's prayer, may you beings who develop pride let your conscience relax in the natural state. Then your awareness will be able to hold its own. May you achieve the wisdom of equanimity. By increasing the habit of duality, by praising yourself and denigrating others, your competitive mind will lead you to jealousy and fighting, and you will be born in the jealous God realm, where there is much killing and injury. From the result of that killing, you will fall into the hell realm. Through Kuntuzampo's prayer, when jealousy and competitive thoughts arise, do not grasp them as enemies. Just relax and ease, then consciousness can hold its own natural state. May you achieve the wisdom of unobstructed action. By being distracted, careless, and unmindful, you beings will become dull, foggy, and forgetful. By being unconscious and lazy, you will increase your ignorance, and the fruition of this ignorance will be to wander helplessly in the animal realm. Through Kuntuzampo's prayer, may you beings who have fallen into the dark pit of ignorance shine the light of mindfulness and thereby achieve wisdom free from thought. All you beings of the three realms are actually identical to the Buddhas, the ground of all, but your misunderstanding of the ground causes you to go astray, so you act without aim. The six karmic actions are a delusion, like a dream. I am the primordial Buddha, here to train the six kinds of beings, through all my manifestations. Through Kuntuzampo's prayer, may all you beings, without exception, attain enlightenment in the state of Dharmadhatu. Ah, ho! Hereafter, whenever a very powerful yogin, with his or her awareness, radiant and free from delusion, recites this very powerful prayer, then all who hear it will achieve enlightenment within three lifetimes. During a solar or lunar eclipse, during an earthquake or when the earth rumbles, at the solstice or the new year, you should visualize Kuntuzampo, and if you pray loudly so all can hear, the beings of the three realms will be gradually liberated from suffering.
through the prayer of the yogin and will finally achieve enlightenment. Okay, thank you. Finish. dedications at gmail.com I'm sorry to dedications at garchin.net dedications at garchin.net and please join us tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, for the Sir Kangma prayer and Lama Chopo with Sok tomorrow thank you so much take care <laughs>